This is going to be part five of my uh, screen mirroring video project. Something I have to deal with from uh, the installation in part four of the reverse camera is, um, as I demonstrated in a previous video, it, uh, it has no problem dem uh, showing up when I put the car in reverse. Right now, if I were to put the car in reverse, I got my reverse camera right there. I can switch to full screen. Everything looks good. My issue is if I start the car. Right now I put it in reverse. It works, but as soon as the alternator kicks on and starts charging, it goes like that. Currently guidance is not available. So there's interference from the charging circuit on the positive line that's causing it to not display properly. And I'm gonna have to fix that. So how I'm going to fix that is by putting a noise filter on the positive line of uh, the power line going to the actual uh, video, going to the reverse camera. So I'll install that quickly uh, just to clean that issue up and I'll show that process. Installation of these things are very simple. You just have ground and you have green which is going to be the input from the car and red is going to be your output. So. I'm going to put this to ground, I'm going to put this from the positive reverse light, and I'm going to put this to the camera. That's going to clean up the, the noise that's on the line that causes the camera to, get all, to go all wonky. So I got that rear cover removed again to get access to the actual uh, plug here for the reverse lights. As you saw, this one on the far left here was a uh, positive, and um, I have my ground wire here, and I have the input to the camera, so I'll get started on that now. So I wired in that uh, noise filter. There's a place right here to stick it in, keep it out of the way. <coughs> So basically you have your power input, green to the noise filter, right off the reverse light, positive, and then you have your ground going to the ground wire of the, of the actual reverse light, and then you have your red output from the actual uh, noise filter going to the camera. So I'm going to give it a test now, and then I can just put that cover on this will all be hidden. So we're going key on now. It's just pointing at my garage uh, ceiling. But that's working normally. So I haven't screwed anything up by going through the actual noise filter. We'll give it a start now. So I still have a bit of interference, but you know, you can see those lines kind of guiding up through. So it's not perfect, but you know, maybe it's related to the quality of the actual camera um, or whatnot, but uh, I guess I'll have to live with that for now or get a better noise filter or maybe run an actual um, line all the way from the actual video module or some other power source but yeah you can still see a bit of noise on the actual camera but at least I can use the camera now while it's uh, in reverse with the car running so that's that something that you guys may experience uh, when you install a reverse camera you may be getting some actual uh, noise on the line Another thing I'm doing just temporarily while I, you know, maybe this will be permanent for me. Uh, the RGB input is giving me issues, that circuit I built. 
sink on green, you know. Um, I'll follow up to this eventually and show how I got that working, but for now, we're going to see how the quality is on an HDMI to composite input. Maybe it's going to be good enough and sharp, so I'm using this. Maybe this could be considered a failure, but you know, ultimately I'm just trying to find a way to do it and stick to a budget, so this will be so much more straightforward to people that just want something simple to plug and play, buy the video module, buy this, buy Chromecast. I show you how to install it and stick that onto the input, one of the inputs on the actual video module and you're done. You don't need to solder things or build any circuits based on the way things ended up for me. So I'm going to show me installing this and then we'll start playing with the Chromecast. So I, um, for now I've just pulled that little box I made out and I just have this, the video adapter which goes from the Chromecast into this HDMI to composite uh, regular RCA. That's a little setup board, I just leave it behind here so that if I ever have to pull it out to do anything I can just pull the box and get to it. Uh, I have my USB power sitting right there and then I have the composite RCA video input set at and onto AV1 and I set the dip switches accordingly so for now that's it you got USB power coming to power the Chromecast Chromecast output into this little HDMI to RCA adapter and then the RCA input into the video module and that's what you'll see on your screen not bad you know like it's not crystal clear HD but the resolution of the screen isn't that hot anyway so I'm wondering if it even would have even made a difference so I can hold down the star button and it'll change to that format or you can hold it down again currently guidance is not available I keep saying that because I have that star key set to um, list out your uh, navigation command but uh, that's just uh, I can change that so full screen so if you're driving you could do that you could leave it like that and then you can just cut the input out altogether by holding down the the down key so if I hold it it'll remember your last setting which is cool so I'm pretty happy with that that's what I was trying to accomplish all along really when I had it so that this is what I wanted, I wanted that clean look I wanted the map on the right but basically I wanted to be able to set my navig my entertainment over here and I thought I had found a hack really <laughs> for getting RGB input onto the onto the actual CCC I drive but no matter what the CAN bus is going to be looking for a TV video module there's no way to emulate that no easy way to trick the system so I would have had to buy a used TV tuner off of a car another car just to allow it to open up that input and then I'd have to play around with so many things and then I just started looking because when I was originally looking into this when I first got this car these video modules here the one that I installed back here they were expensive they were like 600 bucks but now that came down so that was 230 uh, delivered to my door the Chromecast is 35 bucks so you were at uh, 265 and that RCA adapter they're like 40 bucks but you can find them cheaper this was supposedly a good quality one so you know about 300 bucks and then the cost of the reverse camera for 12 and change so 300 just over 300 bucks I have a reverse camera and I have a way to feed video into my uh, iDrive so I'm pretty happy with that down here I have that button that I set up I can just tap it for a quick way to switch inputs happens very fast so yeah 
I'm gonna bundle, button this all back up and then we'll set up that Chromecast and see what, what we can do. So I had to mess around a little bit to get it set up. But now I have it so that it's set up uh, to connect, the Chromecast is connected to my uh, uh, Wi-Fi uh, hotspot. So it says can't access the internet, that could just be because I have a weak signal right now, I don't care about that. Basically what I want to do now is go into the home app. And hit cast screen slash audio and it's going to say finding devices. It's going to find that device I hope so that I can cast. Yeah, I've cast to my, I'm casting my screen right now. I'm using a Nexus so it's actually really slow. It's old. But. It's connected just through the hotspot and it's working. So as you saw, that worked. The composite video adapter does allow you to find an easy way to screen mirror your smartphone. Um, I also bought this. I'm not going to go that route just because the quality wasn't up to par in my opinion. I feel that like we can do a little bit better. It was very workable. It was clear enough, but I'm looking for the best possible solution here. That thing was 40 bucks. I'm going to return it, and I'm trying this thing out now. It's a VGA to CGA adapter. What it does is, it was actually for old arcade machines. It takes your horizontal and vertical sync RGB with H and V off your VGA, converts the signal to red, green, blue with sync and ground. That's what the video module needs to input uh, RGB. So it's a $21 solution, got it off Amazon. It even has controls to fine tune the position and size of the signal so I can make sure everything fits in there and looks good. Um, and I'm sure this is going to be a lot sharper, as good as it can be. It's going to output 480i, so about as clear as we could get out of that stock CCC monitor anyway. Um, and I'm also going to show in the next video how I use this wireless uh, Bluetooth uh, joystick to control the phone. I can maybe mount it on my steering wheel or just keep it off to the side to have interact with the screen without touching my phone. Um, in terms of uh, audio output, I have an app called uh, Soundabout. It allows me to, even while I'm casting my screen, force Bluetooth streaming to that uh, video adapt that Bluetooth uh, audio adapter I have connected to my auxiliary port. Benefit of that is it's an easy way to not run wires, and main thing is steering wheel controls work. So if I want to change tracks, if I'm listening to Spotify or whatnot, it will work. Um, the next video is going to be showing me install this showing the difference between the composite video quality and this and demonstrating me using smartphone monitoring smartphone mirroring while driving like while using spotify while using um, google maps for navigation that's what i'm most excited about using it for and um, i'm also going to play around with android auto since it's now a standalone app it uh, now i can use this to actually switch between navigation um, voice commands, etc. So I'm integrating uh, Android Auto onto an old car, which is kind of cool. I have an old Nexus 6 phone, which is kind of slow. It does work, but not ideal. I'm upgrading to a better phone the next couple days, and uh, a brand new phone with an unlimited data plan and much better signal. So while I'm out and about, I will show me streaming YouTube videos and just using this solution for what it's good for um, in real time. So look out for part six, uh, that's going to do it for this video, so thanks for watching and good luck.